Hello Algebra 2 folks and welcome to polynomial division, the second method, scientific notation. You need your notes and a pencil and we will get started. So take your foldable that I gave you, make it into a booklet and then title it synthetic division. All right, synthetic division is basically division, but it's a shortened version of long division but it only works when dividing by a linear expression. So notice how this is x plus three, this x is to a power of one, this x is to a power of one. If we have any x values with a larger degree than one, like x squared, x cubed, then you have to use long division. So this only works when what we are dividing by is to the power of one. All right, so let's go ahead and do some problems. So here's the first example. We have x cubed minus 2x squared minus 8x minus 35, and we're going to divide it by x minus 5. Now, instead of putting this underneath and doing it this way and saying x minus 5 out here, and x cubed minus 2x squared minus 8x minus 35 like this, we are going to set it up just a tad bit different. What we're going to do is we are going to take what we're going to divide by and set it equal to 0. Set it equal to 0, solve for your x. Add 5 to both sides, so x equals 5. So 5 is our solution. So what we are going to do is we are going to, sorry about that, put 5 here and we are going to do kind of an upside down division, right? So instead of it going the other way, it's going to kind of go like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take what we're dividing and use the coefficients. So the highest degree I see here is x cubed. I'm going to put x cubed up here. And then I'm going to write every one from then on out. Okay, so this is like no x. All right, so we started with an x cubed. That means we have to have a coefficient for every x from x cubed down to no x. All right, the coefficient for the x cubed is what's out in front of the x cubed. That's a 1. So I'm just going to put a 1 here. Then I'm going to put what's in front of the x squared, which is negative 2, the coefficient out in front of x squared. Then I'm going to put the coefficient out in front of the x, which is negative 8. And then the no x will go underneath the no x. You have to make sure that you have every placeholder accounted for from the largest degree down to no x. So if we didn't have one of these, just like with long division, we would be putting a zero there. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So take what you're dividing by, set it equal to zero, put it out in front. All the coefficients go in order. And then um, you should have like an upside down division sign here. All right, we had a ghost in the classroom. The garage door just opened automatically. It's the weirdest thing. Sorry about that. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this first coefficient and you're going to drop it. Okay, drop the first one down. Now it's a lot of multiplying and subtracting and adding. Okay, so 1 times 5, 5. Negative 2 plus 5, 3. 3 times 5, 15. Add these up, 7. 7 times 5, 35. Add them up, 0. So our quotient now is this, but we have to figure out how to write that. So if you started with an x cubed and you divided out an x, what's left over? Well, an x squared. So this is always going to be 1 less than you started with. So if you started with an x cubed, this becomes an x squared. This was an x squared, this becomes an x. This was an x to the 1, it becomes a no x. 
So our quotient is 1x squared plus 3x plus 7 with a zero remainder. We always love that zero remainder. Okay, let's try another one. We're going to take x squared plus 3x plus 5 and divide it by x plus 1. So we take x plus 1, set it equal to 0, we get negative 1. So negative 1 goes out in front, that's what we're dividing by. Put our upside down division. We start with an x squared. That means we have to have all of these accounted for. x squared, that's a 1 coefficient. x, that's a 3 and that's a 5. All right, so then drop your first one down. You get a 1. Do multiplying. Negative 1. Add 2. Multiply. Negative 1 times 2. Negative 2. 5 minus 2. 3. This is our remainder. The last one is always the remainder. Okay? So we started with an x squared. This becomes an x. This was an x to the first, so this doesn't have an x. So our quotient is 1x plus 2 plus a remainder of 3 divided by, what did we divide by? x plus 1. Okay. Let's try another one. Take what we're dividing by, set it equal to 0. That number goes out in front, do our upside down division. We have an x to the fourth, that means we need a third, a second, a first, and no x. Coefficient for x to the fourth is 1. Coefficient to x to the third is, ah, uh, there isn't one, so that's a placeholder of a 0. x squared is negative 10, x is 2, and no x is 3. What do we do? We drop the first one, so we can multiply 1 times 3, which is 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Add them, negative 1. Negative 1 times 3, negative 3. 2 minus 3, negative 1. Negative 1 times 3, negative 3. 3 minus 3, 0. So that's our remainder. We got a remainder of 0. Okay? So here is our quotient. Had an x to the fourth. Now this one's an x to the third. This one's an x squared. This one's an x. And that one's a no x. So our quotient is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1x minus 1. Okay? All right. One more. x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, all divided by x minus 2. Take what we're dividing by, set it equal to 0. x equals 2. 2 goes out in front. Flip over our division sign. Coefficients starting with x cubed. x cubed, coefficient of 1, x squared, coefficient of negative 2, x is 3, and no x is negative 4. Now remember, if this was anything other than a 1, we would have to use long division. This only works when this is to a power of 1. <clears throat> so take your first coefficient, drop it down. 1 times 2, 2. Negative 2 plus 2, 0. 0 times 2, 0. 3 plus 0, 3. 3 times 2, 6. Add them up, 2. So here we have a remainder of 2. So it started with an x to the third. Now the quotient becomes x squared. x squared, x. x, no x. Our quotient here will be 1x squared. You do not need to write 0x, but if you want to, you can. Plus 3 plus 2 divided by, what did you divide by? x minus 2. All right. That's all I have for dividing synthetically. Um, thank you for listening and taking good notes, and we'll
will see you soon.